Yo, what's up guys? What's happening? It's your boy Alex and I'm doing another reaction today. Today we got the three, two, eh, three true paranormal stories. Now I've heard one of these before. Now it's actually scared. I actually posted it on here. Um, but as you can see today or it's daytime right now. It's actually what like 11, 11 30 ish. And I just made myself some some breakfast. Look at this on a plastic plate. Yes, look at that. Some tocino, some filet, and some eggs. Sound all freaking ghetto. It's cold already. Anyways, this one's uh, Doctor No Sleep again. Let's just get this started. <clears throat> Y'all ready? Cause I'm not. The hell? This happened to a friend of mine when we were in college. My friend Clarissa moved into a small boarding house located in Cebu City. It was an old antique wooden house. The house had an ominous look to it, but the price was cheap and the location wasn't bad. On my friend's first night, she already felt something was eerie about the place, but she just ignored it. She proceeded with her nightly rituals, like washing her face and brushing her teeth. She went to sleep at around 11 p.m. after reading a book. At around 3 a.m., a very cold breeze woke her up. She covered her entire body in her blanket without opening her eyes because she was too sleepy. Then suddenly, she heard something. It sounded like someone praying the rosary. She couldn't quite make out what it was saying, but she was certain it was someone. She felt really scared because she was living all alone. The voice gradually became louder and clearer. Hail Mary. Full of grace. Chills went up her spine as she realized the voice kept getting louder. The voice was right in front of her bed now. Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with thee. It's got some egg on me? Nope. I don't know. <clears throat> Thank God nothing like that has happened to me. But I do have a story. I just found out my sister watches my videos and she's gonna remember this but I was at my godparents house and there was nobody there I was just by myself I was doing dishes it was like 8 9 p.m. and I just hear I heard like a voice behind me I, I forgot what side it was probably this side I just I just heard <sighs> I was like I try to act cool I just put the shit down and I stepped outside. Nah, and I was texting my sister. I was waiting for her to come home. And when she got there, I told her what happened. She was laughing at me. But yeah, good. Thank God I haven't seen anything. I mean, I've seen the pictures where, you know, ghosts are behind me, but I haven't seen one in person, you know. I just, I hope I don't. But, ugh, fuck. I mean,. I'm gonna try not to curse because my sister says I sound ghetto. <sighs> That's scary. She froze in fear and hoped that it would all go away. Nope. She never even attempted to open her eyes because she knew she would see it kneeling before her. Eventually, the chant stopped and she was able to fall asleep. The next day, she talked to a neighbor. He told her the former renter committed suicide because her lover left her for another woman. He said this is why nobody rented the place, even at its cheap price. Mm. To this day, she says the memory of that night still haunts her. I was five years old at the time. People say that children are more likely to see paranormal things. Yep, I heard that, that too. was certainly true about me and my childhood experiences. Since I was a little boy, I have experienced supernatural happenings. I've always seen weird silhouettes and heard strange noises at night. I was really scared of them. Sometimes, while lying in bed, I would feel entities around me. One particular day, I was playing in my room. My parents were outside doing some gardening. Suddenly, I got shivers down my spine. 
It felt like a cold winter breeze hit me, even though it was summer. The next thing I heard was my mom calling me. I got up and went out of my room. You heard her? Ahead of me, the bathroom door started opening slowly. As I approached the bathroom, I saw a black silhouette entering the bathtub. No. He was staring straight at me from the tub with its white eyes. I froze in shock and disbelief. After staring at this thing for a few seconds, it vanished. I ran to my mother crying and told her everything. She looked scared. Later, she said she never actually called me. She told me I should stop watching so many cartoons, and that's why I was seeing things. This didn't convince me, because I knew what I saw. The day turned to night, and I asked my parents to sleep with them. That night, I slept really well, and nothing happened. In the morning, I got up really early. My parents were still sound asleep. He saw it again. I sat up in the bed, just coming out of my drowsiness. All of a sudden, the silhouette appeared in my parents' doorway. It had a distorted face with bruises on its neck. It raised its hand. At that moment, I screamed and covered my eyes. My parents woke up and asked me what was wrong. Is that a boy or a girl? That was a girl scream, but it's a boy kid. What? Damn, my eyebrows are all fucked up. Yeah, it sounded like a girl. I told them everything. I'll never forget what happened that day. I'm turning 20 this fall, and I've thankfully oh. never experienced anything like this since then. A few months ago, my experience came up in a family gathering. Someone told me that before I was born, one of my elderly relatives lived in our house. Her husband hanged himself near the bathroom and my parents' bedroom. I was horrified when I heard this. Wait, what? <clears throat> I'm sorry, hold on. Did he say he hang him he hung himself in your parents' bedroom and bathroom? Or near the hold on, let me Hanged himself near the bathroom and my parents' bedroom. Oh. I was horrified when I heard this. Thankfully, part of that house got torn down, and I think that's why the experiences stopped. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Nina. This happened to me eight years ago. At the time, my family and I lived on a medical campus, as my father was a doctor. Our building had two floors, with families living on both sides of each floor. We lived on the ground floor, on the right. This story happened right when we got back to our home from vacation. After arriving back, we cleaned the place, freshened up, and hit the sack pretty early. It was 9pm. My sister and I slept in the same room together. Our room was two rooms away from our parents' room. Just as I was about to fall asleep, I heard a loud bang on the roof. I sat up straight and woke up my sister. She dismissed it to be the family living above us. She said they were probably just moving chairs around. That we always both happens. Her and we went back to sleep. <clears throat> around midnight, I heard my sister call my name. I groggily asked her what happened and she asked, Can you hear that voice? I listened closely. I started to hear the muffled voices of a few people singing a religious chorus. I was puzzled. I thought to myself, who would be gathering this ungodly hour? <clears throat> Alright, let me tell you this. <sighs> I got chills. If I was to hear that at night, I don't care what, I could be outside.
I would shit myself. I always thought those sounds or whatever that sound was is it's always like creepy. Hell no, I'd be scared of shit. And that girl, too, see how chill they all are about it? I would have got under the blankets or some shit. I mean, that wouldn't do anything, but what else can you do? Run out? Some shit might grab you on your way out. I can't stop cursing. We ignored it again and went back to sleep. We thought some overly religious family was performing some kind of ritual. After I went back to sleep, half an hour later, I heard a loud voice. This time, oh. the voice seemed to be that of a late night TV infomercial. I told myself, the next day, I'm going to confront this other family. Just before I went to sleep, I checked the clock again and saw that it was 2am. After that, I fell into a deep sleep. I was abruptly woken by a stinging pain on my left arm. I glanced at my alarm clock. It was 10am. I heard my sister crying loudly. I sat up and asked her what happened. Suddenly, I felt a sharp stinging sensation. I looked at my left arm and saw the exact marks on my arm. I shouted to my mom. She came running in our room and we told her about our scratches. The color drained from my mom's face. She went outside. We followed her into the garden and she stopped. She came back with a banana leaf. To our shock, there were the same marks as we had on our left arms. What? I know, no one would believe me, but this is true. In our culture, we believe that if there is an evil spirit around, they draw marks on banana leaves. It then affects the people staying or living near it. We were horrified. Later that day, I went and knocked on the unit above us. I've never but heard of that. To my utmost surprise, they were gone. We had been the only ones living in the building. This sent a shiver down my spine. From that day onwards, we always heard eerie noises at night. Thanks for watching. You can watch a similar video here. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay tuned for more videos. Well. <clears throat> yeah, I never heard of that. Banana leaves, scratches on banana leaves, and then you have them on yourself. I mean, it was a cool story, as you can see. I was scared for both of them. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I'm glad that hasn't happened to me. I hope this is wood. Um, Y'all like the intro, though? It took me, like, two hours to do. Obviously, I'm gonna do, like, some tweaks in it. I still got to fix it a bit. Um... I just needed an intro. I didn't like to just start the videos just out of nowhere. But I like it so far. Um, these stories were good. But I keep saying but because I don't know what to say. I'm going to just, I'm going to try and do another video right now. Get as much of these as possible. But overall, good stories. Two of them were scary. Actually, what was the first one about? I forgot already. Whatever. They're good. Alright, anyways. If you guys like this reaction, make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you want to. And I will see you guys on the next one. Later.